we found out over the past uh, decades that uh, the way we were going was not the right way in the long term. Uh, if you look at the world population where it's going, if you look at the amount of products that everybody's using, uh, it's just not going to work. Sustainability and bees go hand in hand. About 40% of the food that we eat is a direct result of pollination. When you introduce beekeeping, people can earn a living. They're increasing crop yields. Between the honey and the beeswax, none of it goes to waste. My name is Nasia Bemba. Today we are in Titik Bay village uh, to do a training session with uh, Pazapa Beekeeper Organization and the target is to train them uh, how to do the installation of hives and also how to control uh, disease uh, during the production and how and when to do the harvest to obtain good quality of beeswax. I think we need to leave the world a better place than when we found it. For this project, our sustainability project, we're focused on West Africa. Uh, that includes countries of Togo, Benin, Mali, Nigeria, Ghana, and the Ivory Coast. We work for the biggest cosmetic companies in the world because we find that they are also, like us, interested in making their supply chains more sustainable. And then we were lucky enough to find a local uh, guy who is a veteran of the area. So with the three of us, John in the USA, Sylvain here in Togo, and myself in the Netherlands, we are trying to make this work. There are so many people affected, right? It's not just the beekeepers. It's the people that are making the bee boxes, the people that are making the bee suits, the truck drivers who are moving the wax around. I would encourage other companies who want to get into something like this to really study their value chain, their supply chain, understand it from the beginning to the end. And I think in the future, more and more customers will be requiring their suppliers to have programs like this. I have to say, this is what I see around me. So people are actually looking for ways to improve. If you can, uh, change it. There's so much opportunity to, to do the right things to make sure that those folks are being treated in the way that they should be treated, getting compensated the way that they should be compensated. Apart from uh, what we always talked about, growth and making more money, for your company to exist in the long term, you also need to think about how you want to make that money. And if you want to give it to your, the next generation, uh, you just have to think about, okay, what is a sustainable way of doing my business? And then uh, start doing it. Don't wait, just start uh, doing it tomorrow. <laughs>